Only on Boston 25 News, two local nurses met the man who credits them with saving his life at the Rolling Stones concert at Gillette Stadium. It happened back in May. So the 78-year-old suffered cardiac arrest. He reached out to Boston 25 News here in hopes of finding them. Boston 25 News reporter Drew Caritas is live for us in Marblehead. Drew, you helped bring everybody together. What an incredible story. It really is, Chris. So this retired school teacher says he wouldn't be here today if it hadn't been for these fellow concert goers who performed CPR in an instant. Those two women came forward after seeing our story, and tonight they came here to Marblehead to meet the man they saved. Hi, how are you? I hope I look better than the last time you saw me. <laughs> the last time they were together, Tony Palladino was unconscious, slumped over in a seat at Gillette Stadium. And these fellow concert attendees were giving it all they had to bring him back to life. I'm so glad you're feeling so oh, much I'm, better. I'm More than a month later, they're meeting with a lifelong bond. Days after Palladino turned to Boston 25 News for help finding them. I am in her debt, and I can't thank her enough for what she did. The 78-year-old, who's back to feeling like himself after double bypass surgery, didn't know that it was two women who rushed to his aid moments before the Rolling Stones took the stage back on May 30th, both of them longtime Massachusetts nurses. Tony was just sitting there slumped over climbed over, I put my fingers there, I'm like, no pulse. Linda Zeladek, a labor and delivery nurse with 39 years of experience, helped get Palladino on the ground after he went into cardiac arrest. She began performing CPR right away. Her friend Marion Stanton, a dialysis nurse with 42 years of experience, quickly joined in and took over compressions. It felt for a long time to me that we were going. On. Minutes later, a Millis police officer working a detail stepped in and took over compressions from there, followed by other first responders who used defibrillator paddles. All of them later recognized for their actions. Palladino says he's forever grateful for the team effort and is truly thankful to give credit to the two life-saving strangers who were anonymous until now. Thank you, Boston 25, for your help. Otherwise, this would have never happened. It's awesome. It's just a fulfilling feeling just to see him. To be a nurse is really hard work, and to see the fruits of your labor, if you will, is just amazing. These two nurses who were at the concert as a group of eight friends tell me they didn't know Palladino's identity or how he was doing until they saw our report. They say they almost didn't even go to the concert after losing their tickets in a hack and didn't get those tickets back until the night before. We're live in Marblehead tonight. Drew Caritas for your local station, Boston 25 News.